let's unpack this recent flare-up with political analyst Ahmad Shahidov, who joins us from the Azerbaijani capital, Baku. Really good to have you uh, with us. Firstly, explain to us who do you believe broke this recent ceasefire that Russia uh, managed to broker? Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me in your program. Unfortunately, uh, tension in the region remains still and also, an agreement uh, was reached between Armenia and Azerbaijan on a ceasefire yesterday. Gunshots were heard in the region today. And the Armenian side, which uh, violated the ceasefire once again, continues to fire at the military uh, positions of uh, Azerbaijan as well as the uh, civil settlements uh, on state border. And of course, the Azerbaijan army uh, responds to all these provocations and destroys all military facilities belonging to Armenians and by carrying out these retaliatory operations and all uh, Armenian soldier manpower and uh, military equipment concentrated along the state border and firing on the Azerbaijani uh, side are uh, destroyed. Uh, but it seems that uh, these provocations uh, of Armenia have started to take a permanent shape and may pave the way for the uh, Third Karabakh War. But in any case, the Azerbaijani army is ready and able to respond to all provocations from the Armenian side. Uh, as mentioned, uh, the agreement reached in Brussels 15 days ago raised uh, very positive hopes for peace between Armenia and Azerbaijan. Even the government of Azerbaijan made a very positive step and handed over five Armenian soldiers to the Armenian side. However, Armenia's uh, last provocation destroyed all these hopes and uh, the weapons uh, were fired again. I think that uh, there are uh, special forces, uh, uh, concrete forces, uh, encouraging Armenia to commit these uh, kind of provocations. And those forces who are uh, interested in uh, increasing the tension in the region from time to time and attack the peace negotiations by causing uh, such kind of provocation. On the other hand, uh, uh, vengeful forces inside Armenia have become uh, very active and are making threatening statements against Azerbaijan. And uh, the Azerbaijan army is currently monitoring the situation in the region. Unfortunately, uh, 50 Azerbaijan soldiers were killed yesterday and uh, hundreds of Armenian uh, losses. Uh, the Armenia uh, side, uh, the Armenian side, should uh, understand uh, one uh, reality that it will not be able to achieve any uh, plans with such uh, peter provocations. It is more appropriate to sign uh, a final peace agreement and contribute to the development of the whole region in the form of mutual respect. If the official Yerevan uh, does not agree to this, of course, Azerbaijan uh, have to force them. And another issue is uh, related to the protection of the uh, security of Azerbaijan state borders. It is on the agenda for today and creation of a buffer zone on the state border uh, with Armenia is an issue on the agenda because uh, such provocations cannot last forever. And state of Azerbaijan, uh, Azerbaijani side, Azerbaijan army takes uh, and will continue to take all uh, necessary steps to protect the safety of its army and civilians. Yes. I think everything depends on Armenian side. Okay. Uh, official Yerevan one uh, has uh, to sign this final uh, peace agreement with Azerbaijan. And Ahmad, we know that Russia has been trying to broker a ceasefire here, but Russia has been traditionally allied with Armenia. The U.S. Secretary of State, Antony Blinken, has expressed a, a bit of scepticism about Moscow's aims during this conflict. How do you believe a, a lasting peace can be achieved between the two sides? You know, if we look to last uh, latest development and the process uh, in the, during the last two years, I think that uh, the peace negotiations uh, why the Russia is not effective, because every time when the uh, two sides agreed on ceasefire, after a couple of days, Armenia, Armenia, Armenian side violated the ceasefire, and the Russian, Russian position on this issue is not effective. Just means the foreign affairs of Russia call, uh, calls uh, both sides to 
uh, to stop the military operations and to start the uh, ceasefire. But uh, of course, we, uh, yesterday as well, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs declared about the, uh, the next uh, ceasefire between Armenia and Azerbaijan. And after a couple hours, Armenian army violated the ceasefire. It seems that uh, the role of Russia on uh, this peace negotiation is not effective. But uh, the another uh, way to resolve this uh, issue, I think, is uh, to start uh, uh, anti-terror operations because Azerbaijan uh, has this kind of uh, experience. And uh, after all uh, anti-terror operations, Armenian side uh, takes uh, its lessons. And that's why uh, there is no other way, because uh, as I said before, everything depends on Armenia. Uh, to sign this peace agreement to respect the total integrity and state borders of Azerbaijan, or uh, to uh, wage new uh, third Karabakh war. Okay, Ahmed Shahidov, we will have to leave it there, but we appreciate your analysis as always. Thank you for joining us.